Hi guys, this is a really quick video. It's just for the AQA people that need help with distance time graphs. And it's one where you need to learn how to draw a tangent. So that's what today's video is all about. So I'm using this BBC bite size graph to help us here because it's definitely the best way of doing this. In this graph, we can see that we have a period here of constant speed and then the vehicle's acceleration changes. And we might be interested in working out its speed at a particular moment it's going to be very difficult with a curve so that's where the tangent comes in remember that a tangent is a line which simply just touches the bit of the curve that we're interested in and by finding the gradient of this tangent we can work out the particular speed here because remember speed equals distance over time so really using a tangent just helps us find the speed in difficult to find places and i'm going to show you an example of that now in graph one, we're being asked to calculate the speed at 60 seconds. So we need to get familiar with drawing ourselves a tangent. Let's put a little dot where that 60 seconds is. And I need to draw a tangent which goes through that dot. That's here. And I'm choosing to finish it exactly here. Why? Because it will make it easier for me to read off that x-axis. And because that speed is the same as the gradient, which remember is given by the letter M, well, the gradient is the change in y over the change in x. So here's our change in y. Here's our change in x. So let's carefully read these numbers off the graph. So it goes up to here, the change in y, which is 25. And then we're dividing it by the change in x here, which is 82, to get a value of 0 0.305 meters per second to three significant figures. And I know those units because look, the change in y is meters over the change in x, which is seconds and meters per second. So that's the answer to the first question. What about the second one? Calculate the speed at 10 seconds. So let's put a little dot again. Then we need to draw that tangent. Let's turn it into a triangle now. So again, we're after the gradient, so that's that change in y. So from here to here, which we can see is 60, over that change in x, which is about 17.5 minus 5 equals 12.5. So I've read that off the x-axis to get an answer of 4.8 meters per second. What about graph 3? We're after the speed at 5 seconds. So again, what is the change in y this time? Well, it's 19 over 3 to get 6.33 meters per second. 